let's continue analyzing our code example. But now, just to make things a little bit more exciting, let's, let's change our example. And instead of playing back a WAV file, let's play back an MP3 file. And here we have an example called music underscore mp3.rs that plays back an mp3 file. And we see here that we can play different formats, for example, FLAC. And we will notice that the only difference in all these examples is just which file we are opening. So here, the code is exactly the same. Here we did a lot of modifications in um, our WAV file example, but originally it would be the same as the MP3, the same lines of code, but we are opening here this music.mp3 file. And here is exactly the same thing, but we are opening this music dot flag. If we run this example for the mp3, we should now play back this um, file. We should also be able to play this flag file. And just to show that it's the same code, if I change here instead of music.flag and I put music.mp3 and we run this code. It plays it and we could also play any other format with the same code. Because what happens is that under the hood, this rod IO library uses different libraries. So for playback, it is handled by this CPOL, and CPOL means the cross-platform audio library. That's a low-level library for audio, and this library supports enumerating audio hosts, enumerating the available audio devices, getting the default input and out output devices, enumerating supported input and output string formats for a device, getting the input and output string formats for a device, and build and run input and output PCM streams on a chosen device with a given string format. And here you have the documentation for this CPOL, the cross-platform audio library. And they also support decoding of different formats. And the format decoding can be handled by this library called Symphonia. And Symphonia is a pure Rust audio decoding and media demuxing library and supports AEC, FLAC, MP3, MP4, OGG, OGG, and many different formats. And here you find the documentation for Symphonia. We can also have some specific decoders like this mini mp3 or hound for wave files and so on so when we go back to our code we see here that there is this decoder and in this decoder there is this new and we see that it builds a new decoder and attempts to automatically detect the format of the source data so this is why we just need the same lines of code that we will have this um, by default that will return a stream and a handle using the default output. We will have here the sync. Then we will open a file. We will decode the file and append this decoded file to the sync. And then we will play back and the sync will sleep until it ends. So it sleeps the current thread until the sound ends. And this is the same for all the formats. We can just load different file. It will open the file and the decoder will take care of finding out what format it is. 
decoding using respective decoding library or Symfonia or any specific format library and we'll play back the file. Just to clean up a bit, instead of using our music WAV file that we did a lot of modifications, trying something different, we will move on using this music mp3 investigated already this line here where we get the output string and the handle and now we will look at this line here where we have the sync and we are using the handle to build a new sync and now we will create the sync and we we'll use this sync try new that will build a new sync beginning playback on a stream and we use the handle that we got from here so we already seen we already talked about let we more or less talked about sync that has a handle to um, a device that outputs sound but we're going to talk next as we've been talking about variables data types functions is that this function try new it takes an argument and this argument this argument is uh, output stream handle we got the handle here but now we notice that there is this symbol ampersand symbol before this handle and we're going to talk about what this means in our next tutorial